Hey, what's up, Taurus? Welcome to Black Madonna HP. So we're getting ready to dive into your person's energy. See what's going on with this person. You know, um, we always want to know, you know, what, how this person feel about me. You know, uh, people be having other stuff going on with them. Like, honestly, sometimes it don't have anything to do with you. You might have just got caught in a crossfire what they was going through. But let's see what's going on with your person, Taurus. Beloved, what's going on with Taurus person? What does Taurus need to know about their person? Thank you. Angel of Strength. Towards this person has been through hell and back. They have not had an easy journey at all. It seems as if this person wears a mask through life because of all the things they've been through. This person could act a little extra at times. They could they could blow up out of nowhere or they could um they could shut down on you like mid conversation like hmm, you ain't got nothing to say. Nope. Like, it just seems like this is a person that has been through numerous adversities in life. And maybe numerous betrayals. Um, numerous things that kind of uh, change their perspective of life. Change their perspective of people in their life. You know, their trust could have been broken. Um, they could have been rejected. It. They could have been used, abused, molested. Like, um, there's no ends to the possibilities of what this person could have been through. But I see that they are showing up like in this. I don't want to say victim because I'm not getting victim. I'm getting vicious type of way. Um, it's not something they mean to do, but this is the mask they wear. Happy family. See, this was the problem. The family they came from, the family unit that they came from was very dysfunctional. Um, it was a lot of yelling, a lot of screaming, a lot of hollering, a lot of disrespect, a lot of no Christmases, no um, holidays, no celebrations of their birthdays. Like whoever this person is, this was a person that felt very disconnected from their family unit. They felt very abandoned, um, very almost unfortunate to have been born into such a family. It affected them greatly in life. Like their whole dream, their whole life was to get the hell away from this family. This might be a person that don't even deal with their family like that because of all the pain and suffering they caused them. This is a person that could have mommy or daddy issues because um their mom or dad the way they treated them or the way that they um wasn't in their life. This person is a person that has dealt with a lot of hurt, a lot of pain, and a lot of rejection. And they'll be damned if they let anybody get close to their heart to hurt them again. Pillar of the Ages. If it wasn't for their spiritual... See, people will be surprised who people are. Like, like people portray one role... But when we're born into this life, we're all born as innocent souls, right? And what we do behind closed doors, a lot of people don't know. But this was a person who, you talking about, had to pray. Had to stay close to something spiritual. Had to ask God why time and time again. Yeah, this was their person. Wondering, God, why me? Why? Crying, begging, pleading. You know, running in the closet, hiding. You know, like... Going to the church, churches, you know, wherever they could for a place of safety, a place of sanctuary. Um, this could have been a, a person that was in a foster care system or, I mean, like I said, the, there's a, way, a collective energy, there's endless possibilities. But I feel like this was a person that constantly prayed, especially for beloved to be at the root.
for beloved to be at the foundation this person is very spiritual and this is what has kept them alive all this time through all their pain all their adversity all the the re betrayal and 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 abandonment and all of that beloved has been with them yeah they are you know what This is a beautiful thing, this journey, because they're they're leaving all that past stuff behind. And this is what Beloved was helping this person do in the past. You may have seen this person go, um, like, change or transform on you. Or um, you become colder, it seemed like, or become distant or something like that. And this was because this person was being activated, too. Um, you know, sometimes we follow our intuitions, right? Like I said to myself, and I put myself in some people's situations sometime, and I say, if I was in that situation, what would I do? Say, for example, here's a, a prime example. Say, for example, you meet somebody new, right? And everything is going well with you and this person. But here come that ex, you know, that one who you truly love, the one you still love. Like, you really like this new person. You got feelings for them, but you don't love them the way you love your ex. So then you're sitting there and you got a choice. What's that choice? Do I stay with the new person and take a chance? Or do I follow my heart and go back with my ex? Nine times out of ten, what a lot of people would do is go back to their ex. Not because this new person doesn't matter, but because that's where their heart still is, right? Now, what does it set that person up for? Failure, karma. Sometimes it all works itself out, right? But somebody gets hurt in the midst of it, and you got to always consider that. You know, but when you are following your intuition, when you are following your heart, you hope for the best, Right? I don't, you know, for me, I don't think the intuition and the heart is connected. Because your intuition to tell, you know, don't go back to your ex, but your heart like, but you love them, though. You know, God said that the heart above all things are deceitful. You know? So, yeah. If this person disconnected, they were following their intuition. Remember, they spiritually connected. They were following, following their intuition. It wasn't personal. That's why sometimes we got to learn not to take things so personal and internalize these things. And maybe they're going to tell you, uh, Fifth Chakra Archangel Gabriel, look how many spiritual cards this person got. The Angel of Strength, the Healer of the Ages, Beloved um, Journey. And now they got the Angel, um, Archangel Gabriel. Yeah. It's like this person got something to say, like like they're being right now being activated, their energy, their um intuitions being activated to speak their truth. Things that they held back. I'm not even sure if this is just with you or if it's time for them to tell their story, to really live their truth instead of hiding it or hiding behind things that happen to them. Because everyone's story can help someone else and that's why we go through it. To try to help the next person through it. But I feel like that's what's going on. Like, they they need to tell their story, okay? Instead of holding it back, it, it can really free you and release you to know, oh, there's somebody out here like me that went through that, you know? How beautiful. The woman holding the heart. This is what's going to free them to love again. To really feel love for another human being, another person. Instead of them being this person that is, you know, holding on to all their hurt, all their pain, all their um, regrets, abandonment, rejection, all that type of stuff. But let's see what's up. Beloved, what else? What else does Taurus need to know? Let's go ahead and get into this tarot. What else does Taurus need to know, please? 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 What 
So we're going to start with Hiller of the Ages. Two of Swords, Seven of Swords. See what I'm saying? They were completely like not letting anyone in, not trusting no mother. Ooh, shut your mouth. But not trusting nobody. They had been through too, through too much, seen too much. Like, this was not a person that was easily, like, like, oh, I love you. Yeah, they could have told you they love you, but they didn't mean it. Not at all. Because they, they equivalent love to pain. They equivalent love to this person's going to betray me. This person's going to abandon me. This person's going to use me. Because everybody that ever told me they loved me um, did something to me, hurt me in some type of way. You understand what I'm saying? This is going back into that childhood issue and stuff like that. Why the journey here? The Page of Cups, the Six of Wands. See what I'm saying? This is them being caught somewhere to heal something to be if you notice this they're moving forward in the six of wands energy right so if you look at this journey card they're they're coming out of this past this page of cups energy and going and growing and going towards the future in the six of wands energy they're leaving whoever these people was with these wands this person could have been abused as a child or something like that um yeah, literally beat. They're, I'm getting, they could have had a um, parent in the military or something. But um, this person, yeah, had a rough ass childhood. The person I'm picking up on. Well, let's see where they're going with this angel of shrimp. Because they, they definitely are moving forward and leaving their past behind. Let's see what's up. There go that angel of strength. Who is this on the card? Ain't this Archangel Raphael on the card? Or is it Gabriel? But you know what? It's like with the Six of Pentacles energy. They was learning that what 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 they were giving to other people was returning back to them. I feel like they was learning the law of karma and how karma works. Like, um, although you went through certain things, it still doesn't make it okay for you to treat or do people the way that you do them. Like I said, this person went through a lot. This person could have been poor, raised in a poor family. Like, this person could be from another country where that country is poor and had strict rules. Like, let's say a person was from the Middle East and they was like a female or something. And they couldn't go to school. They can be educated. Like, like all those things come into play. Like, there's so much that people go through. Like I said, this scenario with this angel of strength. Like, it takes so much for us just to be humans, to have this human experience. That's why if you could ever get to a place in your life... Like, they say com comedians are the most depressed people. But, you know, when I look at comedians, first off, it's hard to do public speaking. Let alone harder to make goddamn people laugh, especially nowadays in this society, right? But not only that, like, for them not to lose that goofiness in the midst of dealing with this life. Because let's just be honest, this life is a trying place like it'll try your your mental your emotional and your physical and so many different dynamics right but just like whoever this person is they let the world get inside of them and i feel like they're finally being released yeah see what i mean wasn't no happy family with a king of swords in the damn house and a ten of wands this house was very unhappy. Somebody ruled their house with an iron fist. And I feel like I'm, I'm hearing abuse. Child abuse, child endangerment. Like I said, depending upon what country you from or who it could go either way. But yeah, it was definitely somebody that ruled with an iron fist in the house. This person went through a whole lot to get to this Ten of Wands energy. Their they came from one of those households where it's like, what goes on in this house stays in this house. Or, you know, they grew up in one of those communities or in an Easternized society or something where there's rules to certain things. It, it, 
Whatever. It's just really deep. Fifth shocker, Archangel Gabriel. See, this is what it's time for with this person. I think, you know, who else got this was Aries, which is ironic. It's like, beloved, is freeing people to be be free on their own. Like, you aren't ready for a relationship until you get to this nine of pentacles energy. Where you are fully loving yourself, investing in yourself, listening to beloved you know, like really having your 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 mental, physical, and spiritual health together. When you're in this nine of pentacles energy, that's when beloved reach out with that extra pentacle. Say, boom! Now that you are whole, now that you have everything you need, let me give you this other pentacle, and it adds value to your life, right? But it's like this is what this person is in the midst of waiting for. Is they're being built up into this nine of pentacles energy they if they ain't no nine of pentacles they're not ready for no relation with you you don't need a, pen, a person that got six pentacles you know or something they don't have they're not there they can't give you nothing but what they give themselves which is three little pentacles think about that well that's woman holding heart here five of wands page of wands you know what Huh. For some of you, if this person trusts you or if they know that you're a trustworthy person, they might open up and tell you about all the things that they've been through. Um, I see a lot of tears, a lot of crying, though. For this person to open up and be be able to tell you about why they do the things they do, why they've hurt you, why they've abandoned you, why they've rejected you. It's going to take this person to trust you with that information. Remember, this is a person that doesn't trust easily. So if you're if you're blessed enough, and I say blessed because the way this person's cut, they don't tell everybody everything. And if they're able to finally tell you, it's because they trust you and they see like a future or something with you. If this person doesn't come and talk to you and kind of tell you what they've been through, then you can rest assured that this person isn't as into you as you want to believe. Okay, Taurus. But either way, that's the message I have for you. I thank you so much for tapping into Black Madonna HP's Table Etiquettes. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, love, peace.